So I am wearing pajamas. So I'll show you my pajamas. See, it's my pajama pants and a pink shirt. You've seen me wear this up before. I did my hair in braids. So yeah, I actually have to leave like right now. But this isn't normally what I wear to bed or how I wear my hair to bed. But I just figured, you know what? I'll make my hair look cute today, sort of. I'm so bad at French braiding my hair, it's like not even funny. But anyway, like, see, look, look at that, that's ridiculous. I wish I had bobby pins to put that back. Anyway, but yeah, no, so I'm gonna get ready to go to work. All right, I'm on my way to work. It looks like it's gonna be a pretty okay day. I mean, there's tons of clouds in the sky, but it looks like they're starting to burn off. Last night we had like this really random freak rainstorm. I mean, hello, it is Washington. We get rain storms all the time, but it was just really random. Because it had been sunny all day, pretty much, it was just really, really random. I am just, like I said, on my way to work. Glad it's Friday. Yay! My roommate works the late shift the next couple of days, so I won't see her until late at night, like around like 9.30 like 9, 9.30, almost 10, somewhere around there. Last night, I got home about 11. She was actually still awake, which was actually really surprising to me. But anyway, so when I got home, she's like, you wanna watch an episode of Grey's? It's like, yeah, we'll watch one episode before we go to bed. She fell asleep. And like I said, it's not funny because like I said before, normally it's me, the one that's falling asleep. I'm at home on my lunch and my hair looks ridiculous right now, but everybody seemed to really like it. They. I got several comments today saying that I look Indian. Mom, I got a comment that I would look like Sacagawea. And I got another comment that said I look like Pocahontas. So apparently when my hair is in pigtail braids, I look Indian. It was kind of interesting. An old co-worker who um, left uh, about like seven months ago or so, um, she came by to interview the other day and got hired. Um, to be a lead teacher in our one of our toddler rooms. Anyway, she had twins, and that's one of the reasons why she left. And she just recently had the twins, not a couple of months ago. Anyway, so she brought the by the twins today to work, and oh my gosh, they're so cute! I'm actually kind of running late on my lunch because I came home late because I kind of hung out and talked at the center for a little bit. But for lunch, I'm having a chicken Caesar wrap. Um, they made them at work, so having one of these and I'm having a root beer and I'm having um, some Cheetos. I'm gonna quickly watch April and Justin's vlog and then head back to work. Like I said, I'm running kind of late. I'm headed back to work and oh my gosh, I'm just ready for this day to be done. It's been a long day already and I'm ready for it to be done. I am at home. I just finished doing a couple of things. I cleaned up the kitchen a little bit. There were some dishes that needed to be put away, put in the dishwasher. And right now I'm just um, snapping some asparagus and I'm gonna roast those because I said that that's what I wanna have for dinner. It's some um, roasted asparagus. And I think I might have some leftover spaghetti with the asparagus, so. I was thinking about maybe ordering pizza, but then I was like, uh, I'll see what I have in the fridge. And then I was like, oh yeah, I forgot I had asparagus. So today at work, kind of a busy, crazy afternoon. I got back from my lunch and I went on my lunch early today. When I clocked back on, I asked what they, my bosses what they would want me to do. And they wanted me to go give um, a teacher her 10 minute break. And I went into a classroom, and it was actually a pretty easy classroom because they um, were watching a movie. We were watching the movie, no big deal, whatever, and then all of a sudden, a child starts puking. So, yeah, that was fun. Then, not only that, but I had to go do another 10, 10 and so I was trying to find this child clothes. And this child is a school ager, so I thought that this child would should know how to you know clean their clothes and apparently they didn't one person and then one of the children in my classroom you know I mentioned this child before 
Oh, they were just being a piece of work today. I'm about to get this into the oven and yeah, eat some dinner. 10 minutes under the broiler with some olive oil and afterwards hit with some salt. And this is what you get. Like seriously, look how perfect this roast asparagus is. Yes, it is awesome looking if I do so the same myself. So anyways, um, I don't know what else I want to eat with that asparagus. Thinking I might have some of this leftover yellow curry that my roommate and I had last week. When we hung out, I mean, it's got to be eaten. I mean, it's almost a week old. So, yeah, I think I'm going to have, yeah, this yellow curry and some roast asparagus. Such a random dinner, right? All right, and here is my dinner. Some chicken curry and roast asparagus. Like I said, a totally random dinner. And for drinks, I think I'm going to have one of my Cascade Ices. I love these things. So I put the asparagus in for just a little bit longer. I uh, normally ten minutes is perfect, but I hadn't preheated the broiler, so it didn't cook as long at a high temperature. I just put it in for another five minutes, and I'm gonna go check out on it in just a sec, and should be perfect. Just another tip: when you're roasting asparagus, like I said, ten minutes. It's perfect, but just make sure that your uh, broiler has been preheating while you're, um, you know, when you're snapping the asparagus. That's when you should make sure your broilers turn on, and I didn't think about that. So, yeah, uh, it should be done in just a sec, and it should be perfect. It's, it was really funny. I could still tell them apart, and I just found that really funny that I could tell them apart. I just need that they're... A lot of their personalities have a change, especially Maddie, and he's still a little fireball and loves to let the world know when she's not having it.